One of the things that I really have always appreciated about the show and came to appreciate more as I grew up, it's a non-traditional job, it's a non-traditional schedule, yeah. but that really allowed you when Patrick and I were growing up to be home when you were home. I mean, when you're working, you're working, but there was a lot of downtime when you could, you know, and raise us. And most people know we tape a bunch of shows at a time. I like to say that I've had uh, 40 years of a part-time job <laughs> pretending it was full-time. The, the great benefit, your mother, Leslie, and I could spend time together and do things, and I could watch you guys grow up and go to the games and all that kind of stuff that work might have taken me away from. We grew up hanging out with Vanna's kids, Nico and Gigi. You know, me and Patrick were, were always at their house. They were at ours. It was I great. I know. I know. It really was. I mean, you've been a part of this show forever. I dragged you out when you were one year <laughs> old and we were in Hawaii. And now, when you're working here and your mother uh, is a, a great help to you, I know. I'm with three of my favorite ladies in the world when I'm here. I'm with you and your mother and Vanna, and uh, it's a pretty good life I got. So you saw us a lot before, but you know. Yeah, now. but now I never <laughs> get away from you. It's funny, people, I bet they think that I stormed in one day and said, I want my daughter to work on the show. And what actually happened was I had this emergency surgery five or six years ago, and Vanna was kind enough, she was a trooper to fill in as host, and you were kind enough to come in during a family crisis and do the puzzle board for a week. Well, it turned out there was a great reaction to your appearance, and unbeknownst to us, us, there was discussion about how can we utilize her and they came up with this great plan for you to be this what you become this social correspondent they had slides and charts and pictures of you and all this stuff but then COVID hit and that all went in a drawer and then one day you were talking to me about social media and you were asking me some questions I said let me, let me talk to someone at wheel who actually understands this stuff and I emailed and they called me and they said would you mind if we offered a job to your daughter and I said sure <laughs> and, and, and and here you are. I wish I could take the credit, but I had nothing to do with it. I thought you demanded that. <laughs> yes, that's what I did. I stormed in. You know, it's been obviously such a pleasure for me working with you. How has it been working with your favorite daughter? <laughs> You know, it's been yes, great. Yes, you only have one, I, I'm aware. What I'm most proud of is your attitude on the set. You are kind and you are cooperative and you are professional. That means a lot to your mother and me. Thank you. Thank and speaking of my mother, I'm not the only Sajak who's filled in at the puzzle board. Years ago, I went to our producer at the time and I said, you know, April Fool's Day is coming up, let's do something weird. And I came up with the idea that Alex Trebek from Jeopardy would come over and do our show and I would go over and do Jeopardy without mentioning it, just like we'd always been there. And I did Jeopardy, it was fun. And then and, uh, and Alex came over and did a great job, as he always did with us. But I played against Vanna for charity on that show. And your mother, Leslie, was at the puzzle board. So every Sajak woman has been up there <laughs> at one point or another. She, she did a great job. So one of my favorite things, I get to talk to the players after their games. So many times they mentioned to me how you made them very comfortable, especially people who might have had a little slip up, a moment that threw them off course. You know, you've done thousands of episodes, but for them, it's a once in a lifetime yeah. opportunity and you always make them feel that way. I think it's my most important role on the show, honestly. First of all, they're great. They come from all over the country, all over the world. And you know, they come to have a good time. They come because it's Wheel of Fortune. They're excited to be there. Sometimes winning the money is the least of it. I mean, they just want the experience. Here they are and there's Vanna and there's Pat and all that. I really care about them and, I, and they're very vulnerable. And you know, when they mess up, it'd be very easy for me to make a joke at their expense. And I try not to do that. When someone screws up, my first reaction is, how do I make it better for them? But everybody's different. Some you joke with, some you, you playfully yell at, some you have to hug and, and, and get them through it. It's a big part of what I do, I think. And I'm, I'm proud of what I do. And I hope they know how much I cared about them and how much I tried to make that experience one they'll never forget. Well, no matter how humble you may be, there's no doubt you're incredibly recognizable. Yeah. And growing up, obviously that's something I noticed. You're always very gracious when people come up to you. What is that like for you? It's become such a part of my life for so long, it's just normal. I mean, it's the same thing for you. I mean, you, you always saw strangers coming up to your father. I thought it was normal. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Every, it was everyone nice. thanks their dads for their work on television. <laughs> yeah, right, no, it's not, it was not normal. I've been on the other end of it where you see someone you admire and they kind of blow you off. I got a minute for them and they just want to say hello and, and have a moment with you and I, I can give them a moment. You know, they've given me 40 years. Yeah, and you always do. The fun never stops at wheel. Subscribe here to watch more spin credible videos.